Good morning everyone. So now we know about mitochondria. You know, mitochondria are not the only organelles which have their own DNA and ribosomes from protein supply. Plastids are another cell organelles that have their own DNA and ribosomes. We know chloroplast as the kitchen of cell where glucose is produced. So obviously it is only present in plant cells as animals cannot make their own food. But this is a specific type of plastid known as chloroplast. Plastids that contain green pigment that is chlorophyll are called chloroplasts as they perform photosynthesis. There can be various yellow or orange color pigments other than the chlorophyll. So, color of fruits, flowers, aging leaves etc. are caused by plastids known as chromoplast in general. Unripe mango is green because its skin has chloroplast. During ripening, chloroplast converts into chromoplast. So, fruit turns yellow or red etc. As we know, one type of plastid that is leucoplast has no pigment. Still, it performs an important job of storing starch, oil and protein granules. Talking about the structure, like mitochondria, plastids also have two membranes. The space enclosed by inner membrane layer is stroma. Stroma is protein rich. It has its DNA and ribosomes just like mitochondria. You know, many layers of membranes are stacked over one another in stroma. It looks like stack of discs. Each disc is called thylakoid. Each stack is called a granum. The plural form is grana. So there are many grana inside the stroma. The thylakoid membrane contains chlorophyll or other pigments which make plastic so important. Cells are so tiny but it has so many things and can do so many things. So to sum up what we learned today, plastids are present only in the plants and plastids can be of two types. One having pigment that is chromoplasts and leucoplasts which are colorless plastids. And also that plastid is an organelle which has its own DNA and ribosomes just like mitochondria. That was all for today. Bye-bye.